Hello, Cancer viewers. Sorry I've been away, but I am back now. Just been working a lot at my other job. But I'm going to look into your situation. So whatever the cards want to say, it could be about love, money, career, uh, psychic development. I feel like that's coming for a few of you. But let's just see what the cards want to say. And as always, if you want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. My email is right below in the description box below this video. So just go ahead and send me that email and I'll do a reading for you. Okay, so we have sense of belonging, home, safe space, true love, potential life partner. So we've got a lot of good energy here. Um, divine intervention, synchronicity, courage, assertiveness, motivation, forward movement, mental instability, spying, pride and stubbornness, truth and clarity, shyness, fear of rejection, isolation. I feel like someone's causing their own isolation. It's like isolation, loneliness, emptiness, choosing their words wisely, planning their approach, love offer, commitment, trapped, blocked, tied up. Now this could be someone that you made a love offer to and they rejected it they were like you could have given them an ultimatum or a love offer and they might have pushed you away because they felt like it was too good to be true the energy i get now this could be you know take it as it resonates for a lot of you i think that this is your person that's in this energy but for some of you this could be you it seems like that's like collective energy i got that for one of my fire signs too i don't know if maybe you have a fire sign partner who was that i just did my fire sign videos and i think it was i think it was leo and this almost matches, so it almost makes me think that maybe some, some of you are dating a Leo or someone that has a lot of Leo fire energy in their chart. Um, but let me confirm this here with my pendulum. Does this person think this is too good to be true? Yeah, it's like you're going back and forth with somebody, and it's not necessary. You guys don't need to be going back and forth, but I feel like... Either you're doubting them and you're afraid that they're too good to be true or vice versa. Or it could be both. You guys could be matching each other's fears. You know, you might be picking up on each other's energies. You, the thing is, you might, you might be afraid of them cheating and you can tell. Like, if you really meditate, you can tell when your intuition is trying to tell you someone's cheating or someone's doing something bad. And when it's just fear based on past experiences. You know, you really got to learn to, to you know, get in tune with your body, get in tune with your intuition so you can notice those differences. And I'm feeling like maybe they've been cheated on and so they're scared and you're picking up on that fear and you're thinking it's your own fear of getting cheated on or vice versa. It's just, I could just get the sense that someone's picking up on someone else's fears here. Um, cause somebody, whether it's you or them, somebody here just has this too good to be true mentality I feel like I feel like this person, whoever this is, it feels like like they learned some really tough karmic lessons. But this feels like someone that almost has imposter syndrome. It's like it feels like somebody that just can't seem to fathom that good things could last for them. It's like maybe you went through a lot of maybe this person what again, for some it's you, for others this is your your person, you know? So take it as it resonates. But whichever it is, whoever this is, for for some, I feel like almost like like an imposter syndrome. It's it's like you don't. It's like you've got like this person's gotten to where they want to be. It's it's like this person's finally attracting decent people. This person is finally attracting good things. I feel like this is someone that went through a lot of trauma. I feel like this is someone that like. I'm hearing grew up on the streets like you had to like you had to take care of your parents as a kid or you had to take care of yourself a lot when it, when you were a kid and fend for yourself and maybe take care of your siblings if you have siblings. Um, been through like a lot of um, well, I'm getting some I'm getting some sexual trauma. I don't want to get into that too much in, unless you know, if you want a private reading, you don't want to look into it. That's fine. But I don't want to get into it too much on, because I don't want to negatively trigger anybody. But I am getting sexual trauma here. I won't get too deep into that, but um, I'm just getting someone that had a really hard life, like somebody who always, you know, had integrity, always tried to do the right thing, 
always, you know, maybe grew up in poverty, but still tried to help all the people around them. Um, someone just, you know, developed a very tough skin. Someone got used to life being hard. Someone got used to that mentality of, you know, life sucks and then you die, but you have to have integrity and do the right thing anyway. You have to keep, you know, moving forward. This is somebody who's very, very mentally strong. This is someone who's been through, been through everything, you know, been betrayed, been cheated on. I mean, more than most, like, of course, everyone's been through that stuff. Almost everybody has, but this person's been through more than most. This is like someone that almost had to raise themselves as a kid. Like they had to take care of themselves and take care of their siblings. And they had to, they might've had like an alcoholic parent or a drug addict parent or something. And they had to take care of the parent too. Like they had to be an adult from a very young age. And I feel like they probably ended up in a lot of um, abusive and toxic relationships. And so I feel like they've finally, like they've done the shadow work. Like this person is so strong that they've actually, you know, they've done the inner work and they've risen above um, those subconscious patterns. Like they've learned to fix that. You know what I mean? Like they've been consciously telling themselves, like they've been trying to change their lives over the past couple of years or so. And consciously telling themselves, finally, you know, maybe life doesn't always have to be hard. Like, maybe life can be good. Maybe I can. Maybe I can, um, you know, get to where I want to be. It's, it's like this person's just been. It's like they've just been through all of it. So, yeah, the past couple of years, it's like they've been telling themselves, like, you know, giving themselves the pep talk. And this is someone that's been alone a lot. So it's almost like they had to give themselves the pep talk because I'm seeing someone that like looks in the mirror and like, you know, repeats these affirmations like they don't they either don't have friends or they have a very small social circle. There's not a lot of people in their life that they can really trust and be themselves with. But I feel like this person is just they have so much good karma because despite everything that they've been through, they they didn't cheat on other people. They didn't, you know, they didn't intentionally hurt other people. You know what I mean? Like they they still wanted to be a good influence on the world despite all the darkness they had seen. And so this person has really good karma for making, you know, these selfless decisions. It, it's like the bad karma is wrapped up. And for some, this person might need to end old karmic soul contracts because you might have karmic soul contracts that are repeating that don't need to be repeating anymore. Um, but what I'm getting here is that, you know, this person, it's like the best is yet to come. You know, like they, they've finally gotten themselves to that point with, with, you know, the inner work and the shadow work they've been doing and just, all of it is just they're at that point where they can finally have true love. But I feel like this person just, even though they've been manifesting it and asking for it and praying for it and aligning with it and, and being strong and saying, you know, finally standing up to toxic people. See, this this person has a backbone, even though like they've been alone a lot of their life, but they still stand up to toxic people. They don't, you know, they have they don't go back to old patterns. And I feel like this person's being rewarded for that because as hard as life has been, they're finally realizing what they deserve. You know what I mean? Like they they don't they don't fall back into into those old um, patterns with abusive or emotionally unavailable or toxic people. And so it's like this person is, you know, this person has manifested true love and true love is here, but they don't trust it. It's, it's like they don't. Like they've been asking for it and aligning with it and their vibration has risen a lot, but they're not used to it. You know what I mean? It's almost like a fantasy. Like, have you ever just, you know, prayed and prayed for something and then you finally get it? Like you're praying for like a new house and then you get the keys, but it doesn't feel real to you. You're like, how is like, how is this real? How is this my life? It's kind of like that where this person has been aligning with this true love. And I feel like this true love has either just come in or it's about to come in. I feel like for a lot, it's already come in. Like this could be someone that you are, you know, that you guys already know each other. But I just feel like this person is afraid of losing their independence. They're afraid of getting heartbroken. They're afraid of, they're like, how could this be? How could my life be so hard? How could I have all these bad relationships? And how could I have someone so perfect? It's like they just, they feel, you know, whether, again, whether it's you or them. So I'm going to, I'm just going to say it as if this is your person feeling this about you. But like I said, this could be you feeling this about your person. 
Um, so just take it as it resonates, you know, don't get caught up on, on the roles. It's just, you know, you, you know what role you're in, even if I word it differently is what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, I feel like this person just feels so at home with you. Like they feel like you're their safe space. Like this is like true love, potential life partner energy. And the divine is intervening to bring this to them. You know, the divine, this is like a divine gift. Um, and I feel like, you know, courage, assertiveness, motivation, forward movement. It's like the divine is pushing them to be courageous and go after this. But it's like everything's perfect. And they're, this person is so, I mean, if this is for you, it's kind of like a warning. Like when, because maybe some of you are in this energy where you're trying to manifest true love. And it's saying, you know what, when it comes in, accept it. Don't sabotage it because you're not used to it. It's going to be unfamiliar. And you know what, too, when you have um, subconscious patterns of like going for abusive or toxic people, and I get it, a lot of people do, like I've been through that too, you know, so many people have, especially if you've, if, you know, especially if you've had a rough childhood, it's, it's normal. But sometimes you have to go out with somebody who's not your usual type. Sometimes you have to, sometimes you can't trust people that you're attracted to right away. If you have like a pattern and you're noticing that you're attracted to toxic people, like right off the bat, it's. It's body language. 90% of communication is body language. It's, um, you know, like pheromones. It's just, it's just like there's, it, it's, it's something that you can't necessarily trust because it's your subconscious being attracted to that body language because it, it's familiar to you. It feels like what you went through in childhood. Um, so you kind of have to rise above that. And I know it's not always easy, but sometimes you have to be cautious and you have to you know, get to know someone that you're just kind of attracted to, you know, and let that attraction develop naturally, let it be genuine, let there be, you know, a soul base, like a like soul recognition, like a soul level attraction, that's going to be much more solid. So sometimes you really have to be conscious of those patterns so that you don't lose yourself in a, in a matter of, you know, a day, two days, you have to really be on top of it sometimes. Um, but yeah, it feels like everything's close to perfect. So, so like I said, that yeah, for you it could be it could be a warning when this person comes in that you've been manifesting this, that you do deserve this. You know, don't run from it, don't sabotage it. Um, but for others, this is just your person feeling this way, and it's like this person, it's like everything is perfect, and they their fears, their anxieties, their mental instability because of what they've been through. It's it doesn't feel familiar to them. It's like they feel happy with you, but they feel like. Like, how could it be this good? How could anything in life be this easy? So it's almost like they're just kind of lurking. It's like they're spying. They're, they want to be close to you, but they're afraid to, to say I love you or they're afraid to say too much. And this truth and clarity is coming out that, you know, they, that they do. This is, this is the truth right here, that they do, they do love you. They just, they're, they're, they're afraid. Shyness, fear of rejection, you know, not being used to this. It's like they're causing their, this person's causing their own isolation, their own loneliness, their own emptiness. And it's, it's, it's silly. I mean, I, I don't want to say, I don't want to say it's silly because I understand this person's been through a lot. It's, it's a hard, this person's really being called to step out of their comfort zone. This person might even be being called to move to a new location. You know, it's, I get it. I get it. It's not easy, but it's almost like this person, like they have true love right in front of them, but they're they're doubting it. It's like they feel like it just can't be that easy. So they're they're trying to choose their words wisely and plan their approach. They're trying to, they're creating problems that aren't even there. It's like they don't need to choose their words wisely. They don't need to plan on their, their approach. They just, they just need to communicate. They just need to let things flow naturally. But this person is trying to almost like control the situation. Like they just, they don't, it's like they can't comprehend what this connection is. This could be a twin flame connection too. You might be triggering this person's um, psychic awakening process. So they might be having dreams, visions, you know, telepathically communicating with you. And they're not used to that energy. So they're trying to to label it and put it in this little easy to understand box. And they're trying to, you know, they're used to being dominant. They're used to having to be in control. They're, they're used to, you know, having to do everything. They're used to having to plan everything out. So with something like this, it's just this energy is just so beautiful and, and, and deep and real to them, but it's so unpredictable. But um, it's like they want to make you this love offer. It's such back and forth energy because up here we have, you know, love offer commitment. And then we have traps blocked tied up because it's like they're making it a power struggle. Chaser, chasey. It's like, 
they're trapped. It's it's like they're just creating issues that aren't there. It's like it's not a power struggle. <laughs> it's not. They're. It's almost like this person thinks like, okay, this they, they must have something to hide. They must. No one's as perfect, you know. But it's like this is your good karma. This is whether it's whether it's your person's good karma or your good karma. It's like this is this person's good karma. So this love is that perfect. Like this person is who they seem to be. Um, yeah, the mute, the feelings are mutual, emotional depths, passion, and it's codependency and addiction. So it's like. I feel like you guys are both equally addicted to each other. I always see this as like just passionate energy right here. I'm getting like New Orleans energy, like vampiric energy too, but in a good, not in a bad way. Um, listening, understanding, new perspective, true love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open mindedness, your faith and your bravery. So it's like, yeah, whoever this person is, they need to give themselves credit. Like they, they earn this a hundred percent. You know what I mean? Like they, they've been through enough, but they, they don't fully realize that. Um, so the feelings are there. I think just, just kind of, God, what's your advice? <laughs> what is your advice? How do you deal with this person? Happiness, warm flight, being gentle, being understanding, being finances, career, you know, finding a balance. I feel like there's a strong psychic connection here too. So it also helps if you meditate and connect with them psychically. So like verbally, you might not be able to completely get through to them. And I don't think that they're like closed off to you. I mean, I don't think that they're like emotionally unavailable with you or anything like that. I think it's more like they just feel like it's too good to be true, but they, you know, this person doesn't like hurting other people. So I don't feel like they're going to want to hurt you or anything. I feel like they do want this love. They do want this commitment, but they're just struggling to process what it is. So whoever this is, they need to really not sabotage. Um, I would say, you know, meet them halfway, like kind of, you know, find, read their body language and be kind of balanced with them. Don't move too quickly. Don't move too slowly, but don't move too quickly either. You know, just kind of get to know them and let, th let them adjust to these, high vibrations and these frequencies and this new energy you're you're you, you know you're not like anyone that they've ever dated before so just give them like a little bit of an adjustment period i mean this person should be consistently taking you on dates you guys should be consistently talking every day if not every other day but you know kind of go at their pace is what i'm saying as long as they're consistently moving forward um, you know, be willing to kind of compromise and meet them halfway and, and don't do anything too overwhelming. Just give them that little adjustment period to kind of, you know, to realize for themselves that this isn't too good to be true. And also connect with them telepathically, psychically. That's going to help a lot too. I think it's just meditating and kind of sending them healing energy and, you know, familiarizing them with your energy that way. So I hope that makes sense. And as always, if you want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. That email is right below in the description box below this video. Please like, share, subscribe. Uh, please share because someone on your, on your social media, maybe they need to hear this message as well. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching.